Hi guys, my name is KJ and welcome to KJ Smiles. Today I have a book review for you guys and it is on a love story. Excuse you, madam. I'm trying to film. Shh. A love story starring my dead my my dead best friend by Emily Horner. Now, I picked this book up on a spree. It was like on sale for $1.99 at Ollie's, and it seemed interesting enough for $1.99. I mean, $1.99 for a hardback. Why not? Why not try it out? It was unique. I had never heard a story like this. Excuse me for a second. Angel, lay down. I'm trying to film, and you're making a lot of noise. It's really rude. Goodness. Uh, overall, I'd give this about a 3 out of 5 stars, I'd say. I wasn't disappointed, but it wasn't what I expected, and this was Emily's first novel published, and you could definitely tell that it was a first novel published. Um, let me see, where do I start? The dead best friend aspect, maybe we should do that. This follows the story of a girl named Cass when her best friend Julia just died from a car accident, and she's trying to cope with losing her best friend. So she knows that her Julia's mother said she could be involved, be involved in like the process of like deciding where Julia's ashes were to be and before Julia died the girls were talking about taking a cross-country road trip to California just because why not they're going into their senior year let's have an adventure but they never got to do that because Julia died so Cass decides that she's going to ride her bike across country to California to dump Julia's ashes there now this causes a bit of causes a bit of a rift rift in the friendship between Julie and Cass and their friends because Cass didn't invite any of the other friends or Juliet's boyfriend to go with her. She just went by herself and the friends were a little torn about that. They wanted to be involved and Cass just took off without telling them. So this follows the story of the then and now aspect then when she's on the trip and the now when she's back and she's made up with her friends and they are working on the cast in like the cast and crew set of a musical that Julia wrote, and they're going to put it on and perform it in memory of Julia. Now this, as well as following the story of Cass, like dealing with the grief of her best friend, it also like explores Cass. It's also of Cass like exploring her sexuality. Is does she like girls? Does she like boys? It's a story that kind of goes along that. I thought it touched up on these two topics very well. I did it very respectfully, but it was just. It was a very naively wrote book, I would say. I mean, I I was okay with it. I read it. I turned. It was a page turner because you wanted to know what was going to happen next. But at the same time, like I said, you could tell it was Emily's first book. I don't know if I pick up another book by Emily. I know she, her writing will only get better after this, and I did enjoy this book enough that I would consider it. But like I said, you never know. So that's basically the synopsis of the story. Um, is there anything else I can add to it? I don't, that's basically it. She just goes and she, eventually along the way on like riding her bike to deliver the ashes to California. She gets in a few predicaments and eventually her bike is gone. She, it was stolen. So she, is like in a pinch she don't know how she's going to make it to California so she calls up some buddies on her phone and then things kind of turn around and make it for the better and relationships are mended but there are still some risks and there's just a lot of drama that's happening throughout this book and I think that was my turn off because I'm not one for a lot of drama I think drama is petty I hate going to school because of the drama so just reading about some like petty high school drama I was like Emily grow up come on now so yes that is my book review on a love story starring my dead best friend by Emily Horner if you've read this book let me know what you think if you're going to read this book, read it. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. I'd love to talk to you guys about it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!